Hey there, it's Jody from the Clutter Free Classroom, and this video is going to help you troubleshoot printing problems that teachers often encounter when printing teaching resources. So we sometimes hear from members in all three of our resource site communities. We have three, we have the um, Classroom Decor All Access Library, the Elementary Math Resource Collection, and starts with the story 250 plus Book Companion Library. I'll drop links to those below if you're interested. Um, we hear from them, the members of those, as well as from educators and homeschool families who've purchased printable items from our teacher stores, that they're experiencing some issues when printing the materials. So the primary question we hear goes something like this. Everything looks great on my screen, but when I print the pages, there are solid black boxes around them and they want help with that. So let me start by saying this is not a problem specific to our resources. You may encounter this anytime you print a PDF, so hopefully this video should help you troubleshoot no matter where the PDF came from. So most commonly, the problem has to do with how the user is opening the file. Typically, um, it has to do with what's being used to open the file, but sometimes it can just simply be uh, the way the zipped file was opened or more so not open properly. So let's talk about that first because that's the easiest solution, but uh, most likely it will not be the case. So we often deliver our resources to educators using zip files. So a zip file is basically, it's just a folder that contains multiple files that are compressed, so it's easier to upload. Zip files can be opened and uncompressed using both Windows and Macs without needing any additional software. However, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you're going to need an additional app. I'm not going to get into that in the video, but um, I'll drop a link wherever you're watching this video um, so that you can get some more information on those apps as well. Um, we're going to focus more about just opening the file in general because that could um, solve the problem. However, um, while not properly unzipping a file or even giving it just enough time to open can cause the issues, the problem most likely has to do with how you're opening the individual file and um, printing it after having unzipped the compressed group of files. So in the file, if the file is a PDF, I should say, especially a PDF with a lot of graphics, it may look fantastic on your computer screen, but not print out correctly. Um, this is usually because the PDF is not being opened with the latest version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So Adobe Acrobat Reader, it's a free application. Um, it needs to be downloaded and installed on your computer. It's completely safe. Everybody has it. Um, and if you're already using Adobe Acrobat Reader and are experiencing the black boxes, it probably means that you're not using the most recent version. So you're going to need to update that application. Um, so again, I'm going to drop a link where you're watching this video to the latest version. So you can make sure that is uploaded. So once it's uploaded, or I should say, once you have it downloaded and once you've downloaded the application and installed it to your computer, you need to make sure you're opening the file with Adobe Acrobat Reader. So that means hovering over the file or clicking on it and saying open with and selecting Adobe Acrobat Reader or opening Adobe Acrobat Reader and then opening the file. Because oftentimes computers, especially Macs, have a default PDF reader called Preview. And if you are looking at it in preview, it's going to look fine, but when you print, that's sometimes when you'll get those black boxes. So it's really important to make sure that you're not only, that you not only have Acrobat Reader on your computer, but that you're using that to open up your um, file, your PDF, and that should solve the problem. So if not, there's one more thing you can try, and that's printing it as an image. So to do so, click print on what, the, what you want to print, print. Um, and in the page sizing and handling selection, you can shrink oversized pages if needed. Click on advanced and then check that the um, print as image box is checked and then print the document. And that is the final step that should um, take care of it if the other steps did not. All right, if you have not stopped by lately, I encourage you to visit our website. It's where you're gonna find lots of inspiration and ideas, how-to tutorials, and both printable and digital activities for your elementary classroom. It's also where you're gonna find the links to join our free Facebook group. We have one called Solutions for Busy Teachers, and that focuses on classroom organization and management. And in the summer, we also do some focusing on classroom decor and setup. And we have another group called Starts With a Story, and that is where we share picture books and ideas for using them across the curriculum. So thanks for watching. Reach out if you need anything. As always, my team and I appreciate all you are doing for your students, and we are here to support you on that journey.